Yeah, we we gotta get it. We gotta get in the truck, babe. RV life in Florida. Every time you put the awning out or the umbrellas out, you don't know what you're gonna find. I'm Tammy, and this is my husband Scott. We are two artists who, when faced with mounting health challenges, decided life's way too short. So we sold our home and most of our stuff to move into a home on wheels. We are now in our second year in an even smaller RV, and along with Gracie and Jasper, we've hit the road full time in search of new landscapes, experiences, and friends. We'd love to have you join us as we navigate our way through this RV lifestyle. And until further notice, our mission is explore, create, and inspire. This is RV life in Florida. Put the awning out, find a frog. He's so cute. Do you think he needs rescued? Poor old froggy. Babe, get up there and rescue him. What if he's poisonous? Can I pick him up? Yes. Do you, do you think I can pick him up? He's not poisonous. You gotta make sure he's not in there when we put the awning back in. I cannot have a squished froggy on my conscience. So Tammy's solution to the frog incident is a sticky note on the control panel. Every time we open and close the canopy now, we got to check for frogs. Tammy loves frogs and I'm afraid I'll be sleeping in the basement if anything happens to this one. We have liftoff in T minus 5 hours, 12 minutes and 31 seconds. I just like saying liftoff in T minus. Sounds cool. Go for launch. Go for launch. And it's a SpaceX Falcon 9 Starlight Satellite Rocket. Starlink satellite rocket. Basically the things we all want on our RVs to get the satellite from the SpaceX D-Limo Bobber. That's what they're putting more of those satellites up in the air today. The SpaceX rocket launch is going to be visible from our dock. Oh, check it out. Bay photo. Um, yeah. Matt and Tammy took us out like right after we got here. We didn't know anybody. Christmas Day, we were kind of feeling all alone and they invited us out on their boat. So that day out on the water we picked a shot of a blue heron that we took and we uh, made them a little memento of that occasion. Look at that. Ocklawaha River 1225-2021. Thank you, Tammy and Matt, for sharing your Christmas day with us. This is our last day in Wilaka, and we are in the midst of some of the biggest thunderstorms, well, the biggest thunderstorms we've had since we've been here. And uh, we leave tomorrow. Or at least that's the plan. That's our first there tornado no, alert. No plan. We're idiots. There's no shelter where we're at. I think we ought to get in the truck. We're going to hit by lightning if we try to get to the truck. I think it's over. No, come on. Get in the truck. Why is it so calm? Is this the eye of the tornado happening right now? You know how they talk about that? This. It's okay. Look at this. There's a hook. Look, look at this hook in this storm. What does that mean? They're so scared. I've never in my life had my tornado alarm go off on the on the phone like that. That was uh -oh. unnerving and we thought we were in the clear. Is that Susan? Uh -huh. We got neighbors trying to tell us what to do and where to go. She said we couldn't go to the bathrooms in the clubhouse. I don't know. I think... I think we ought to heed the warnings, babe. Here it comes again. Uh, we're in the truck, and I'm wondering if we should look at the map and leave. Map by water. Oh, now more neighbors are texting. Tornado? Everyone's looking at tornadoes here. 
Um, so we're gonna hang this up, take care of the animals and us, and figure out what to do. Well, I missed us. We got, thing is, we got two more of them coming today. There we got water where there usually isn't water. Only when it rains. And there's our home away from home for one more day. We've been full-timing for a year and a half and we've never ever even come close to a tornado before. And we've been in some very bad storms on the Oregon coast where we got in the truck because of the wind. But this is our first RV life tornado warning. And this one was unpredictable. It was they they had a big thunderstorm watch coming and you know it looked like it could be bad with some hail and whatnot and then they downgraded it and then 10 minutes later they upgraded it again and then bam the the alarms went off and everybody was calling us and we jumped in the truck because you gotta have a plan. We didn't I mean, have much of a plan. We've just always said the truck is safer than the RV and we can move. I think at that point you just have to do your best and pray. Tell us what your tornado plans are. This is our first time wintering in the south and we are about to cross Tornado Alley to head back to Colorado and it's early for tornado season this year which we weren't you know counting on we thought we'd get out of here before all this started but we're not yeah so what do you guys do what do other full-time RVers do out there on the road when in this situation let's finish packing so we can get out of here <laughs> well it's the day before departure and you know what that means we got to check air pressures and get the TPMS working. Get them all talking to each other. We've been sitting in the same spot for four months and so there's quite a bit of buildup on the uh, rubber seals around the slide and they get dried out from being on the, in the sun all the time. So we're gonna lube them up, get, get them all moisturized and real flexible before we put these slides in tomorrow. What you doing? On my most favorite app and program, RV life, RV trip wizard. Hence the morning tornado issues and storms. We've decided there's like a one week window of opportunity to cross Tornado Alley. So we're changing things up and we're gonna head out earlier than we thought and we're not gonna dally. So I am trying to figure out our route and where we might stay. Yeah, so I'm looking right now at the up north Florida around uh, Tallahassee to see what there is. I can check the reviews. I can check out a satellite of the campground to see what it looks like, the rates, pictures, and then I can go to their website and contact them. If you want to check out RV Life's Trip Wizard program and app, because you can take it everywhere. I do it on my computer, I do it on my phone, I do it on my iPad. This is my most favorite app. I started one trip. You can have as many as you want, but I started one and it shows you everywhere we've been and stayed and our routes. So it's like our logbook for our whole RV life journey. So it's gonna be fun to look back at someday. And I keep track of our costs in there too. Anyway, I love it. If you wanna check it out, I will put a link down in the description below. We are affiliates, so we're only affiliate right now because we love them so much. But um, yeah, there's a link down below. It's super reasonable and I use it all the time. It's my go-to. And then Scott has his handy dandy Motors Atlas for truckers. That way we make sure we're never on a bad route. We have lots of backup plans because we're very nervous when we move. You know, can't imagine why. It's not like we've had any problems towing this thing down the road. Anyway, Gracie's finally relaxed from the storm. 
We're gonna rock Gracie and Jasper's world tomorrow and we're heading out. They're, they think we live here now and we don't. We're, we gotta head back to Colorado. Oh man, Florida humidity and the heat. Every time we do this, we stop and then we've been sitting for a while and then it's like, how do you fit everything back in? And you gotta learn it all over again. And now we get to unload the whole thing right after I loaded it to get the lizard out. What are you doing, you little stinker? You gotta get out. Come on. Yeah, no. Out. It's kind of it's kind of good to go through all this before we get out on the road again because we haven't been out in a long time, and I swear to God, if a, if a lizard or a frog jumps onto my lap while I'm driving down the road, I'll be expecting it now. It'll just be ordinary. Come on, little. Come, Come on, on, buddy. Come on. Come on. No, nope, not that. You don't have a ticket. He wants to go with us, apparently. You can't go. You you won't survive in Colorado. Oh, he's so scared. Here. Now the trick is to load it all back up quickly before another one jumps in because there's about a million of those little suckers living here. So now anytime we do anything, we gotta check for frogs first. I was taking apart the caddy for the uh, kayak and I was sticking it into the uh, storage unit and out jumped this little guy right here. So we have to add defrogging de-lizarding the RV to the departure checklist now. I'm trying to get ready to head out and it is hailing, thundering, and lightning. Hopefully the hail doesn't get much bigger. It's leave day. It's always hard when you've stayed somewhere a while and you've made good friends to say goodbye. The hardest part of RV life, aside from making the bed, is leaving friends and family behind. But we just know we'll see them again. I don't know how many times we can do this actually because you live somewhere for a season and then you end up loving it and you make all these friends and you like your area and you get your habits. But we'll be back. Goodbye St. John's River. Goodbye Dunn's Creek. Goodbye all our friends. Goodbye frogs. Hope we didn't smash any of your kin. See y'all down the road. You're gonna come with us, right? Still got you guys. I can't believe this is happening again. Jack's coming down while you're driving and you don't know it, you can't see him, you have to stop and check or you have to strap them all up, which is a pain in the butt. No way to turn it off. That bothers me because the whole time we're driving, I'm hoping one's not coming down and gonna hit the pavement and flip us, rip out the bottom, cause an accident. Hopefully we'll get to tonight's campground without ripping through the Ratchet strap. It seemed like divine intervention that we happened to be pulled off when this happened right at the spot that was 400 miles directly north of Van Lee Manufacturing. <laughs>